What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at a free pack that you can get for 777 coins. Now you do need to have the coins up front and it is going to be 777 coins and this is what you get. You get a selection of player of the week re-releases and of course you get Robert Perez as well as a booster. It's a very good card. It goes to about 102 overall. It's 777 coins but we're going to be able to earn those 777 coins effectively making this pack free 100 free and getting about 10 players and also while you're unlocking this you will also get your two free players from the other number seven pack as well we'll show you that in a second right rodrigo's very decent from this pack robertson is very decent from this pack this is kind of a, a kind of a beginner friendly pack right especially that you get perez you get a left back you get a dmf or a cmf in bernardo silva it's all about perez he's down as a creative playmaker with his max booster he's gonna have agility plus two he's got some good player skills you don't really need to do much to this card he can pass he can shoot he can cross he can dribble he can do pretty much everything and if you train him up in a little bit of a more of a central role he can be a really good attacking midfielder as long as you can give him that position with the position training right so how do you actually get perez right we're going to show you from the objectives right so if you are new to the game there's the look at robertson there as well as a fullback finisher not bad as a starting left back rodrigo as we said is a good center forward as well he does have ball ball roll um or special advanced double touch from the rip which is that unique double touch animation as a deep line forward but how do you get this pack right so we've already bought this pack uh we did on a live stream thanks to lou but we did get this uh you are going to be able to earn back all these car all these coins right so it's going to cost you 777 coins to tie in with the 777 million download campaign and this is where it can be a bit confusing if you are new, right? So if you come over here into the objectives and you go into the 777 million downloads campaign objectives, you will get all of these, right? You will have all of these objectives and then you'll be able to claim these as you unlock them and as you kind of load into the game, log on to the game. You're going to get simply a lot of coins just for logging into the game. Uh, for seven days in a row, you're going to get 77. You're also going to get three days of 10. You're going to get another three days of 10 of logging in. And then once you complete your main 18 objectives, you won't be able to complete them in week one. But once you complete them over the next two to three weeks, you will unlock the big 300 eFootball coins, which is kind of the bulk of where you need to get this, right? So if you do have 777 coins and you want to buy Perez, you can essentially, you know, pay it forward and then the game is going to pay it back to you when you complete all the campaign objectives. And they're so easy to do, right? Now, this is the key. They will be adding more objectives. There, there isn't enough objectives in the game. This is similar to the Beckenbauer. Uh, I have a video on the Beckenbauer objectives that you could unlock Beckenbauer for free and you could get multiple spins of them. But it is going to be a couple of rounds. So you'll see there, the first round is on from today or, yet, or tomorrow. And then round one, two, and three are going to be for over the next three weeks with the ultimate prize probably around round two, depending on how quick you can get the objectives. Is it worth getting it or should you just save up the coins for something else? Personally speaking, to get a booster and 10 other players that you can release or you can do whatever, you'll see all the 10s there. I do think it's worth it for 700 coins. It's a guaranteed booster that can be end game, especially if they improve out wide um, a little bit more in eFootball 2025. I actually played a good bit with Perez. He feels a little clunky in the game, but I do think I have cracked a good build for him, right? And as you see here with the challenge events, all of the challenge events that you need to do have these little stickers beside them, okay? And you're going to see here, you can do this as easy or as difficult as you want it on yourself. You All you have to do is score five or seven goals in this, and that will complete the first part of this objective. Re reload back into the second one, reload back into the third one, and you'll have three objectives complete. And also, on top of that, when you are clearing this as well, this objective you are going to get a chance deal at this number seven box, which comp uh, contains De Bruyne, Ronaldo, and Son. Okay, so you can just complete all this and get your campaign objectives out of the way while still working towards the main goal of getting the 777 coins for Perez to reimburse yourself for getting the pack straight up. Or, of course, you don't need to buy this pack straight up. You can unlock the coins over the next week or so, or maybe two weeks, and then when you have the 777 coins or more, you can then purchase Perez, right? So this is what he looks like in-game, right? I do have a video up on the De Bruyne, Son and Ronaldo pack as well. I'll drop it in the description below. If you want to check out that, you will get all three players, right? And train them up. I have builds. That is the build for Perez. 91, 95, 96 and 91. His balance, I think, is something that I feel it can only go as high as 88. 
We also gave him a couple of position trainers. We did want to get him as an attacking midfielder, but that's going to take a little bit more because we do need to give him one more attacking midfielder. We actually rolled the dice and got CMF instead. And of course, you can give him skills depending on if you pass a lot, you can give him passing skills, even though he has true passing, you could give him low lofted. Um, he's a good crosser as well. But yeah, it's all about his pace and that is the build. So let me know what you guys think of this. Did you actually get Perez? Did you cap him? Or are you going to ignore it and just save the coins for eFootball25? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 48,000 subs. Glad you're part of the journey. We'll see you soon. Peace.